Hi, and welcome to the second episode of Is It Worth My Money Minis, a show that I'm calling for that reason because we take a look at smaller sets, and this time it's not necessarily a true Lego set, but it is a cool concept nonetheless. Anybody who got to the end of my Imperial Shuttle video will know what video this is, as I tend to show previews at the end of my videos, but today we're looking at the microscale fleet of Star Wars ships, which I think is a really cool concept. Now, most of these are designed by a guy called Zero Fox given, here is his rebrickable, and his rebrickable is in the description below if you guys would like to download some of these models as well. He was gracious enough to send these out to me so I could make a video about these particular ships. Now these are, like I say, micro scale ships, and as I get them out of the box here, I just want to say that they are a lot more detailed than something like a micro fighter. If I'm totally honest, they really remind me of what classic mini kits used to be. Obviously mini kits used to be like between sort of one to 20 pieces maximum, and these models really remind me of this kind of style of building, however trying to be a lot more detailed, therefore a lot more pieces. And this is me genuinely getting them out of the box for the first time, these were my sort of first reactions to them as well. And having all of these ships lined up against each other, it goes to show the scale of how big some of these ships would be compared to other ones, considering all these micro scale ships are in line, in, in scale with each other. And yes, don't worry, we'll be going through one by one in just a moment, but it kind of gives you a gauge of how how inaccurate some of these bigger LEGO models are in terms of scale. I mean, I know it's not really the point of a playable LEGO set, but at the same time, it's cool to see a lot of ships next to each other that are definitely in scale with each other. Anyway, enough faffing about, let's jump into these models one by one and take a look at how decent they actually are. Starting where I believe it's relevant, I think we should take a look at the Imperial Shuttle that is made in this micro scale. Now here it is here, and might I say, it is wonderfully detailed. It's actually very similar to the polybag that has recently just come out but a slight bit more detailed, and I obviously just think this is better. As a comparison, here it is next to the 2021 set, and as you can see, it's just a tiny, tiny model, and I love how you can have a lot of these things in one collection and make it look like a fleet of ships. It really opens the doors into really ship army building, which I think is a cool concept that I haven't really seen anybody do online. But moving on, this is the Slave 1 in the same scale, obviously, as all of these ships are in scale with one another. And I think this is the only one that Zero didn't really build himself. I think he took a lot of inspiration from the Two Bricks one, but changed it around a little bit to work with his scale that he's working in. Now, moving on to the TIE Fighters and the TIE Fighter range that he sent me. I think this is honestly one of the coolest models considering its piece count. I would say this model has about 12 to 15 pieces. And considering its detail for that amount of piece count, it's just one of those things that you could really, really army build and have a fleet of TIE Fighters just chasing something like a Millennium Falcon or an X-Wing or something along these lines. It gives us such a better range of playability when you consider the models being this size. The only thing I will say is because they are 15 pieces, it's fairly difficult to pose them because these haven't been very well integrated with stands, but I'm sure you could think of something. And obviously due to the piece count, they are a bit more fragile than other models. But on the other side of that coin, look how good these four TIE Fighters look next to each other. These are obviously all the different classes of TIE Fighter. You've got an Interceptor, you've got the Darth Vader, TIE Advanced, you've got the TIE Bomber, and then you've got the regular TIE Fighter, and these just look so nice in my opinion, and again, are great for building armies. And again, just for scale, this is the TIE Fighter next to the new 2021 wave TIE Fighter. You can just see how small these guys are, and again, I think having a lot of these on a table in a display where they're like chasing the Millennium Falcon or something along those lines would be a really cool display piece. Speaking of Millennium Falcon, let's take a look at one of the largest ships here, which is weird to say because it's still pretty small. This is the Millennium Falcon. Now this reminds me a lot of that Lego set that came out before. I'll put a picture of it up on screen because I don't know the exact name of it. But I really do like this model. I think it's been really well integrated into this micro scale world that he's been making. Especially with that cockpit piece that's printed. Which I do believe is actually from the micro fighters. Even just down to the engines at the back having that blue strip throughout the whole thing. Again, just makes it work for this kind of scale. Even down to the landing gear. It's a 
really, really nice ship, and I think it's one of the best out of the collection. In terms of scale, just so you guys can get a bit more of an idea of how big this ship is, considering it's one of the larger ones out of this collection, here it is next to the Imperial Shuttle that I just put next to the big Imperial Shuttle, so you guys can get a bit of a gauge of how big this ship actually is. Now moving on to my favourite ship out of this whole collection, now this is the Shuttle from Rogue One, and I think this just looked the most accurate out of all of these ships that I have here, from the orange underside all the way down to the moving wings and the detail on the top. It just looks amazing, and I think this is definitely one that I'm going to be rebuilding for my collection because I just like this one so much. Especially when you have the wings down and you prop it up on some sort of stand, which is easy to do because these ships are so small. This one is just my favourite by far, and we're going to be moving on to some of the smaller ships now, ones that are incredibly easy to build and and again, are all in scale with these larger ships. This is the little Y-Wing. I really, really like this one. I think it's using some building techniques, which I think is pretty cool, just to get the right shape and the right proportions of the Y-Wing. And if you do consider the Y-Wing's look a little bit, the ship would be incredibly hard to make at this size, and I think Zero's done a good job. From the clear cockpit all the way to the detail that you can kind of see on the ship, and the engines at the back. These ones aren't going to take very long to go through, so I'm just going to kind of lightning round these smaller ones. So this is the A-Wing and the B-Wing. Again, some really, really nice models here, and again, something that you can make incredibly easily out of probably parts in your own collection. I doubt you'll have to go onto Bricklink and actually buy a lot of these parts. You probably have these parts just lying around in your collection, as they're made of such low piece counts. And like I say, the detail is incredible on these ones, and now we're going to be moving on to the X-Wing. Now, unfortunately, I think this is the weakest one out of this entire bunch. I would like to see him try and do another X-Wing that maybe looks a bit more accurate. I think the bracket piece is the thing that's holding this one back. If you can try and redo it without the bracket piece, I think this model would look so much nicer. But again, it's such a nice little X-Wing for such a small scale. It's incredibly difficult to get the details in on a model of this size. And if you don't believe how small these models actually are, here it is next to the 2021 modded version of my X-Wing. And you can just see that it's so small compared to even a smaller scaled down version of the X-Wing that we've seen in previous years. But that's it. That's all of the ships that I was sent to show off to you guys. And again, I really, really like these ships. I unfortunately now have to send all these back to zero, but I am really considering building some of my favorite ones out of all of this to stick in my own personal collection. As I believe some of these micro scale ships, like I say, they're not hard to build. They're also not that many pieces, and I believe all the instructions for them are free. So if you guys were considering building some little ships like this, consider going to the description below to go to his rebrickable page and download some of these models. I just want to say thanks guys for 7,000 subs. There are a lot of big things planned for the future, but getting out these sort of mini episodes between bigger episodes is definitely something that I really do enjoy doing. I have been working heavily on other little side projects, just getting ready for bigger videos in the future, and doing things like revamping the website. You guys gotta remember I do all of this basically myself. So I thank you guys for coming back to my channel every Tuesday and Friday for new videos. I do want to start uploading more with a bit more personal content. Obviously the high production value isn't going anywhere, but I do want to get a bit more sort of story time with one of the videos a week. So I'm thinking about doing another video a week where I do that but it wouldn't be as long so if you guys are interested in that please let me know in the comment section below. Also based on the poll that I released a few weeks ago there will be a lot more Star Wars content and Harry Potter content but would you guys like to see other themes thrown in there, stuff like Marvel and ideas, or leave those to sort of other people? Obviously, I'm going to stress again that I'm going to make the content that I want to make, and I'm not going to listen to you guys fully, but I'm interested in your opinion. In terms of live streams, I do plan on doing another one very, very soon, so if you're excited for that, consider hitting that subscribe button below. Also, please make sure that you've got your bell notifications on all, otherwise it does not notify you when I upload a new video. Like I said in my update video, and if you haven't seen that yet, I have a lot of big things planned for 2021, and I can't wait to try and implement those plans. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Thanks to all of the members that make all of these videos possible. Thanks to Zero again for sending me out these models, and I will speak to you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>